Hi and welcome to Blazing Bullets today. Today we're going to look at uh, the situation that uh, maybe not everybody has heard about but local people around our area have. Um, there was a fellow in the church that uh, had a uh, weapon with him and, and I don't begrudge anybody having a weapon with them um, no matter where they go. Uh, I've taken one in the hospitals whatever you just never know when there's going to be a problem. Um, but this fella had his gun discharge in the ho or in the uh, church. Um, he had it in his coat pocket, and from what I understand, um, the trigger caught on um, part of his uh, coat or shirt or something. But uh, uh, from my understanding, is he didn't have it in the holster. Uh, you never carry a weapon. Um, with you, not in a holster, uh, and a proper holster at that. You can't uh, use um, any kind of holster that doesn't cover the trigger up. I mean, there's lots of people that I know that carry guns, they carry them in their pocket, they got no holster, they make pocket holsters, they make all kinds of stuff like that. Um, there's no reason for something like that, and um, Today I'm just going to talk about that because I feel that you know, we have to be safe out there and we keep our people safe. And I, like I said, I don't begrudge anybody carrying a weapon with them, but you got to do it properly. You can't do it uh, like that. That could have been a serious situation. And um, right now I'm carrying with me right now. I have a holster on the side of me. This holster is Kydex. This is made by um, a Crossbreed. This is a Crossbreed holster. You notice the trigger right here, and this is this is made specifically for this weapon. This is a Springfield XD9 subcompact, and that's what this holster is. You notice it fits in there like that, and if you notice, you can't get to the trigger. The trigger is all covered up, and it's not going to get caught on a coat, coat or anything like that. Well, this one you have to depress. Uh, here a lot of people don't like this I don't mind it because when you grab a hold of it you stick your hand there anyways and you depress that it also has a trigger you have to depress the trigger this is a loaded firearm um, but you notice it fits right in there it ain't going nowhere it's right on my belt this is a uh, made by uh, crossbreed as well there's two pieces of steel going through here um, you want to get a proper belt um, for carrying your weapon you don't want the a junky uh, Walmart special belt that uh, cost three dollars and it's not going to hold it up. This is specifically made um, belt for holding up a weapon. But you notice, like I said, this is covered. Now I have other weapons here with me that I've also purchased. This is uh, uh, this is a Smith and Wesson um, shield. That's a nine millimeter. And I have a fella here, and I'm going to get into holsters here soon, talk about where I get some of my holsters from and stuff. But this holster is leather, and if you can see the molding on there, this is molded specifically for my Smith & Wesson. It goes right in there, you know, this trigger's all covered up. This is an inside the waistband holster. I usually use this in the summertime. This side is also covered up. There's no way that trigger is going to get depressed um, in this situation here. This is made by the same person. This is my XDX9. Uh, this is a little baby self compact um, as well. This is a leather holster. You can see the trigger guard there. This isn't uh, a Mikey special or whatever that. Uncle Mike, I don't really like. I have some holsters like that, but I don't carry anything in that uh, is a loaded weapon. I might just use it to stick it in my gun safe or something like that, but I would never use that for a holster. This is specifically made for the XDS9. Like I said, it's it's form fitted, and there's no way you're going to get a hold of that trigger there. It's all covered up. So that's what you want to have happen. You don't want to have anything, you don't want any weapon out there that you're carrying with you 
um, that's going to end up causing you a problem. You don't want to get caught on anything. You know, there's a lot of innocent people around, um, and God forbid that you would ever have to use your weapon. Um, I don't. I don't. I hope that in my lifetime I never have to do that. But I'm always happy that I have one with me all the time, and um, and just to be safe with it, I want to make sure that it's properly sat there in my holster. Some of what I carry with me uh, when I'm um, out and about, and um, I don't know if you see, see, most of the time I wear a pair of cargo pants. Um, I have my cargo pants on, and uh, I always usually carry a spare magazine with me. Uh, this is made by Remorsa or Mora. This is a uh, no clip type. You can actually stick this in the back of you, stick it back there. Um, I don't always do that all the time because uh, I'm always driving <laughs> and it keeps stabbing me in the back all the time. So um, if I'm going to do a lot of driving, I usually stick it in my cargo pants. Um, but you know, I even have a holster for my spare magazine. The um, reason being is you don't want to get a whole lot. Of, if you stick it in your pocket all the time, you start building up lint and stuff. Lint starts getting in there, starts impeding on the uh, spring. Um, you, you stick it in your. If you ever have to use it, like I said, God forbid that you'd ever get in a firefight, um, you might have a problem where. Uh, the lint and stuff in there catches up in your gun and starts uh, making your gun malfunction. So uh, even even your magazine should have a little holster or something to keep all the dirt and stuff out of it. It also helps to keep it up in your pocket and you know it's easy to pull it right out. You can just yank it right out of there. There you go. And easily put back. Um, some other things I carry with me. I like to have a nice tactical light. This is uh, made by Nightcore. This is a Nightcore P12. Uh, it's capable of a thousand lumens. Um, right now, I'm not sure what setting that is. I have, I've done a, a review on these already. This has four settings on it. Uh, this is real low. You can see it real low. Uh, I believe that's around 150 lumens. Uh, like 450 lumens and 1,000 lumens, and it goes back. And actually, it has a strobe feature as well. And it'll drive you crazy. Um, I think you should have a good tactical light, and especially for me, when you get old, <laughs> it helps you read the menu. Um, everybody laughs at me for that, but uh, I used to have pretty good eyesight. But after you hit about 45, you start losing your eyeballs. Um, on the other side here, I always carry a nice little knife. This is a Kershaw. I forget the exact numbers of it. Um, uh, I like a knife that's uh, it's got a spring assist on it, and it's pretty filthy right now because I'm probably cutting tape with it or something. But uh, that's my little Kershaw. Um, it's a locking blade. I like you gotta have a locking blade. You don't want to. If you ever have to use it, you don't want to have to come in and have the blade come in on you and, and cut your finger. I did that as a kid. And I still got the scar for it 40 some years later. Um, that's some of what I carry around with me. Um, I do have other things. Um, I won't get into everything that I carry, but um, I think those are the essentials that you should have with you. Um, but uh, like I said, carry responsibly. You know, there's, you have to be mindful. Of, you know, when you're carrying, you have to be mindful of everybody that around you, your circumstances, uh, your situation, people around you. Uh, you don't have to be paranoid, but um, you have to keep people safe. Um, your family. Uh, like I said, you wouldn't want anything to happen. That, that fellow was in church. That could have. I think it grazed him, so he's okay. But, I mean, it could have ricocheted off the floor. Um, it could have hurt somebody in the pew in front of him. Uh, people were running out of the building. You know, nowadays, you don't know what's going on. You don't know if there's some crazy fool in the back that didn't don't like his wife or don't like his, their husband or something like that, and they're shooting people up. So, 
Uh, I'm sure in church that was a, a quite a, a waking there. <laughs> a lot of people saw Jesus and they didn't want to. Um, real quick there. Um, but uh, I think I think everybody should be safe. And I just wanted to do this little video on on proper holsters and and how do you carry? You know how how do you carry? a weapon with you and it, like I said you should have something that covers that trigger at all times you don't want that trigger to get caught on anything um, one thing I don't you know there's there's certain ways you should carry revolvers especially old revolvers um, the, you know, the, the older fellows used to always carry a cha empty chamber where the uh, where the bullet no bullets in the in the cylinder uh, where the hammer was sitting at and because some of the old ones would actually catch you know and, and with discharge, so you you know you have to watch with that too, depending on what kind of weapon you have. Some of the new ones, uh, they're pretty good, especially the hammerless ones. You don't really have to worry about them catching so much. But then again, you have to worry about the trigger too on those. Um, if you don't have a proper holster for that revolver, um, it could get caught on something, and and that could be a, a terrible situation. So um, well, that's all I have to say about that. Um, and. Uh, thanks for everybody for watching. Uh, thanks to our new subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It helps us get uh, more recognized, and uh, and we want to do that. We want to try to help our people as much as we can. I, we try to keep things simple. Uh, we're simple-minded. I, I may not name everything properly. People get mad about that, but um, I know what I'm talking about, and I've been carrying a weapon for about 25 years. Uh, religiously, I don't leave the house without one ever. I don't walk out of this house and go up to get gas and come back in five minutes without having a gun on me. Uh, I think um, I think you should be prepared at all times. You never know when something bad is going to happen. Uh, like I said, God forbid that anything would happen, but you want to be prepared, prepared for that. There's lots of people that have been in uh, movie theaters that never thought that they'd be watching Batman and the next thing you know some fool was coming running in the place start shooting that up, you know. So, uh, be ready for the fight at any time. And everybody, please be safe out there. And keep those triggers covered up. You only need to have that trigger whenever you absolutely, and God forbid, ever would need it. Um, that's the only time that your finger should ever, or anything should ever come near that trigger. Now this is Blazing Bullets, and uh, please be safe. Like or subscribe. And join us on Facebook. Uh, we talk about a lot of things on there, too, as well.